Recently, I offered to draw a pet for some friends. Actually, I offered to draw their pets. And one of my friends has a bearded dragon named Thor. And I've never drawn a dragon before. But uh, I started out with watercolor and I kind of made a mess of things. I didn't like my watercolor painting. And then I was started thinking about why not try pencil crayons because I love using pencil crayons. It's one of my favorite ways to put color down on an image. So what I did was I drew Thor. She gave me two photographs to work from. So I made a line drawing with a pencil of Thor. I went over it with uh, my uh, line pen. Oh, actually, I think it was just a high-tech point black pen. Uh, it was a very thin line. And I took the line drawing into my computer, into Photoshop. And then I adjusted the size to fit an 8.5 by 11 page in the way I wanted it to look. And then I printed out the line drawing onto colored cardstock. This was Strathmore colored cardstock and um and then I got out my colored pencil crayons now the color I chose was this color it's a neutral color and so when you put um vibrant color over neutral colors the the colors sometimes will pop and come forward and the neutral color will recede into the background and it seemed like a pretty good base for this I think I might have tried it on um um yellowish paper or a beige paper the color of the body but I didn't have any paper that color so I struggled with this because the the little character he's quite a character and he has quite a personality and he really does live with my friend this Thor and um he is changes color to fit the environment but she wanted me to make him look more like the color in the photograph there uh, she said that is more like his natural color, everyday color. So it's almost a creamy white color. And I didn't quite have that color with my pencil crayons. I have a lot of pencil crayons. And if you ever try something like this, you can buy pencil crayons, it, single pencil crayons. I think they cost around $2 and something in Canada and probably are a little less expensive. But you can buy exactly the colors you want to try to work with with something like this. I just happened to have a bunch and I picked out my oranges and ruddy reds and some browns because I thought that might work. And I put things down. I changed the background because the background didn't work. It's, for me, it, I didn't want that background in there. And... I had a different photograph with a picture of a ceramic uh, crocodile or alligator. I'm not sure which. And in the other photograph, he is resting on this ceramic crocodile, which looks like it's ready to bite him. It has long teeth, but um, it's not alive. So I put these different colors in the background. I... Pencil crayons are fun. This took me, actually, it took me about an hour to draw. But because of lack of time and everybody's busy, I speeded this up. I think it's about six times faster than my original uh, time frame. And I thought I'd post it. And I hope you enjoy it. It's Thor. And I hope my friend likes it. Um, I'm, I'm hoping. I think he looks pretty cool. I've never tried one of these characters before. A bearded dragon with pencil crayons. So colored paper. You can also get colored paper stock at Michael's in different colors. I did some drawings of pets on different colored art stock. But this Strathmore paper is a blue-gray color and it is more sturdy than the card stock. But the card stock works well too. Um... Or you could work on white, but I, I think it's rather fun to work on a colored paper background because it makes your colors pop. So I hope you've enjoyed this. Meet Thor. There he is.